So seeing this trend in technological companies mm. that they are trying to build their own super apps. Let's take the example of Amazon where now not only you can shop for products, you also have Amazon Mini TV or Amazon Pay. Similar in the case of Ola, you can book their scooter online through the app itself. You have insurance and also they have their own AI, Kritrim, which has been a lot in the news recently. So what do you think considering the cyclic trend of technologies, where this is heading and what's the next stage after this? See, it was, it was quite natural for many of uh, these consumer companies, right, to build super apps of various kinds because you know, they're all under pressure to increase their revenue, increase their market share and also uh, Many of these new features they develop are through acquisitions, right? To acquire a company, like we were talking earlier today, that how in India Zomato, you know, acquired Blinkit. Now Blinkit uh, offering may become bigger than Zomato itself, right? Soon. Now, because the consumers are looking for consolidation of such things, I don't want to just have buy a set of things from app one and another set of things from app two and third set of things from app three. If I can get all my needs served through one app, it's, it's a perfect thing for me. Now, we are yet to get to that, right? I mean, where majority of my needs, right? my, my needs may also vary, right? Over time, from time to time. Now, would Ola get acquired by Netflix so that I can watch Netflix and book a car and right? <laughs> I mean, I, there, the, many things can happen, but I think there'll be a limit. But eventually, if you see, if there are two, three apps which can serve 90% of my needs. That will be a perfect thing, no? Right? Otherwise, I have to remember this, remember that. And then, step after that would be they can start guessing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Start guessing what I need and things are already here. Right? So, I don't know which trend, which way it will eventually go. But I think still, we are uh, now with the advent of AI, artificial intelligence. They'll get to know, they'll understand you more and more. They'll keep learning. And they themselves, now AI might suggest them to add what more, you know. Like suppose after one app, I go to another app, hmm. right? Immediately after, after going to Amazon app, I go to another app. Hmm. So if Amazon gets to know that, hmm. right? Or Amazon's code gets to know that, they will try to see if enough of our customers, 90% of our customers are following this behavior. I should rather include that functionality within the app, right? Isn't it? Yeah. So then I think then, I mean, I think we'll ha kind of keep moving in that direction. I mean, Amazon doing Amazon Pay was natural. I mean, they, hmm. they felt that in India, especially, I mean, in US, they don't have Amazon Pay. Can you believe it? Because in US, I would say a decent number, percentage of people have credit card. Whereas in India, they don't. Now, Uber, for example, in US works primarily on credit cards. Now here, even though I had a credit card, I couldn't use Ola for a long time. I mean, because my credit card was international, they were not supporting, now they do. Here I had to get Paytm or one of those mobile pay things for, for me to start using Ola, right? So I think credit card penetration here is a lot less than it is in, so this is, to me, this became a localization feature for Someone like Amazon, <laughs> okay. right? They don't have offer Amazon Pay in, in US. You know? <laughs> That's interesting. Mobile wallets are uh, not as popular okay. in US. Why do you think so? Apart because from because their credit cards, are very, you know, I mean, if credit card is there, why do you need mobile pay? Every shop can take credit card. Okay. Then why do you need mobile pay? Here, because you go to smaller uh, retail outlets where. They don't have credit card machine, so then, you know, right? The... Yeah. Okay.